Hey everybody, the Bonga is here, yet to give you another Let's Play. And not only that, another Castlevania Let's Play. The Castlevania Adventure for the Game Boy. And if you heard of this game saying, Oh, Bonga, this game sucks. It's, it's so broken and so slow. I'm about to get to that dingus. First of all, I actually found this ROM patch developed by a guy by the name of Hyro1112. And what he did was make the character walk a little bit faster, and then whenever you get hit, you do not lose your whip power. Very convenient, right? Right. Now we can have this power all we want, and the only way we can lose it is by dying. That's a lot more fun, right? Damn it! And since this is a Game Boy game, this Castlevania game is actually very, very short. But you know what? We can handle that. It's nice to know we can move a little bit better, right? Damn, these eyes will blow up. Ah, damn it. Damn, I hate these birds so much, too. Hey, come on, that's bullshit. I tried to attack there. And believe it or not, in this Castlevania game, hearts actually give you life here. Instead of, like, just giving you a sub-weapon. Ah, uh, invincibility for a short time. The thing too, these eyes just don't stop coming. Another climb. Wish he adjusted the climbing too, but that's still a little bit slow. That could use a little bit of improvement as well. But at least this game is tolerable, thank god. So we'll get through it, no problem. Especially around this area, like if you played the original Castlevania Adventures. You'd be tearing your hair up because this part was insanely difficult. And I'll get to that later in a minute. In fact, it's coming up real soon. Looks like God's taking a shit on us and summoning shit zombies. God knows what that could be. If that's God shit, then God got some serious diarrhea on the go. We should get him some Ammonium AD or probably some Pepto-Bismol. We might need that. That's not the part I was telling you about. Like I said, it's coming up. Yeah, it's right here. Because if you play this on the original Game Boy game, you had to time your jumps extremely perfectly. And it was near impossible. But here, it's no problem. Kinda wish that a Chilean Retro Gamer was playing this front patch instead of the original. He'd probably have less of a hard time. Boss time. Hmm. Ah, here we go. Eh, no problem. Just some guy whipping his uh, metal dick at us, but we had no problem. Huh. Next time, think about it before you whip it out next time.
stage two. Oh great, lots of bats here. But oh well, we'll live, we can take him out. It won't be too much of a problem. I'm never a fan of flying monsters, especially in games where you cannot shoot up. Oh man, what's this giant hand whipping out? Well, here to be dragon balls or testicles or something. Stop whipping out your palantirs of Saruman at us! God damn it! Oh, apples can be help here. Remember, this ain't I want to be the guy. Well, it feels nice you can actually shoot at enemies in this. Here's a bit of a cheap feel, but I don't really care about playing the professional edition, like the real one. I just want to play this game, that's all. I mean, it's still a bit challenging, just not broken. I don't want to play games that are broken, I want to play games that are challenging. You died too, balls. Now I gotta be really careful here because the eyeballs can destroy the bridge. The best way you can avoid it is just by jumping over them. Probably if you played the original game you wouldn't have been able to do that because chances are you would have hit the enemies and made it when you land. I can't say I'm surprised because the game did suck. Following eyeballs all the time. I'm walking to the supermarket. Going across these random bridges. Don't know when this is gonna end. Hopefully soon. That sucked, didn't it? I knew I should have killed those. Ooh, apples. Hmm. Something tells me something good is over this way. Ooh, one up. That could help. Yeah, if you see a bit lag, that's because I'm using a save or a low state. Apparently I assigned a different hotkey to my uh, emulator. Hopefully that's not the problem. If it becomes more of a problem, chances are I will have to like change emulators here as well. But if so, you know, we'll, no big deal, we'll live. Oh, are we at the second boss yet? No, we're almost there. What? That eye just popped out of nowhere, wouldn't you agree? I had no time to react for that one. And you know what? We're going to stop right here. I think that's enough time for one video, so I hope you all enjoyed it. This is the Banga signing out saying goodbye and see you all later.